Why did we not see a major cyber attack in the context of the war in Ukraine? And what are the implications for businesses around the world when it comes to cyber defense? Well, when we saw cyber attacks against the nation of Estonia in the context of a diplomatic crisis in 2007 related to the removal of a statute, most experts anticipated that in future armed conflicts, cyber attacks would play a major role. Actually, they anticipated with regard to Ukraine that cyber attacks would be the first wave of attacks. When we look at the conflicts between 2007 and the Ukraine conflict, we see that cyber attacks did not really play a major role in these conflicts. The reason is that in a lot of those places where armed conflicts took place, you didn't find this heavy infrastructure, the heavy cyber infrastructure. The situation is different in Ukraine. Ukraine has this infrastructure and people, the government and businesses are heavily relying on computer technology. Therefore, a lot of experts pointed out that it is very likely that in the context of this armed conflict, there will be cyber attacks in the beginning. We didn't see them. And there is not really a good explanation why we did not see them. There are some approaches to explain this. For example, that the Russian military communication infrastructure was not available and therefore they were depending on the civil infrastructure that exists in Ukraine to carry out communications that were then intercepted. However, that's only part of the story and we will only find out afterwards what the reasons are. What does it mean for businesses around the world? Are there now safe with regard to potential attacks that affect them? Well, not really because they can still take place. And we see that on a small scale, these attacks between Ukraine and um, Russia are taking place. It is very important to be prepared for this. You will not only be victim of a cyber attack when you are somebody that those countries would be aiming for. Companies can be affected by cyber attacks in the context of an armed conflict in a different part of the world just because they're using similar infrastructure as the one that is targeted in those areas and the attacks are spreading. Therefore, it is important to prepare, to have a solid plan in place and to have cybersecurity measures in place that are updated with regard to the dynamics of this conflict.